back to another live stream of uh, Port Royal uh, 4. Uh, this is my fifth uh, Let's Play. Uh, what we were doing on my last episode is we were doing some trading uh, with the Spanish. We were trying to get some more trade routes up and running. A new fame point, we might as well use it. Uh, I think I was gonna go down here. Uh, actually, I wouldn't mind another captain to be honest. Let's get another captain. I'm just gonna change the sound a little bit. Very quiet for me. There you go. Okay, yeah, everything seems to be working. So Georgetown, I'm the administrator there, and we've got quite a few um, businesses being built at the moment. We're not doing too bad. We've got 13 days until the inn's built. Thing is to get another trade license for a place down here. These guys, five hundred and sixty-five thousand. Wow. You see, if your primary focus is to do trading, then you should start as a merchant. I started this game as a adventurer um, on my next playthrough. Uh, I'm going to wait for an update first. Uh, just the next update is going to bring quite a lot of nice stuff. Um, but after that one, I'm going to do another uh, Let's Play. Um, and on that one, I'm going to be a merchant. Just then we don't need to buy uh, tried licensing. Which obviously will be massive beneficial to me because I love trading. Uh, I'm not too sure we've got any ships. Uh, yeah, we've got one ship in there. Well, let's just build another one. Exactly the same. Yep. So we can make another trade route up and running. Uh, there's one already in there. Let's have a look at the order list. 27. And Port Row is making me combat ships. Or oh, they were. Uh, let's have a look. So if we buy another Corvette and let's get a military, oh I can't get one there. Okay, just get another frigate, that's okay. I'm just going to see what uh, our main, our man wants. In our town, clothing has been in short supply for a long time. While France has enough in stock, I thereby ask you to buy 46 of the of the um, of clothing <laughs> until March up to, up until March the twi uh, the 16th. Oh dear, what's wrong with my speech today? <laughs> uh, that, that's what happens when you wake up, kids, and you go straight on the computer. <laughs> oh dear. So I, I don't have any trading 
posts with the French. So this is bad. So I'm not going to be able to uh, trade with them at all. I have no trading opportunities with them at all. I just realised I had my sound playing on my mobile phone, so I was hearing someone, I thought it was that someone outside on the mobile phone, um, but no, it was me on my mobile phone. Uh, it's just so I can have a look at the chat room. I don't like having the chat room um, while I'm playing the game on the screen. I might change that at a later point, um, but at the moment I quite like it this way. So 10 days into that spell. If I uh, go and complete some crests, there's a possibility that I might get a little bit more inference and get more fame points in turn. So these people are like, please let us uh, join your crew. So I'm going to say yes. So accept. Okay, so 160 sailors have joined and I've just activated the trade route again. So this is just a trading ship, so picking up um, crew, as far as I'm concerned, is not really uh, worth it. And none of my trade convoys actually have any cannons and the majority of them don't have crew as well. I do have uh, some people on patrol. I got three, I, I believe. Yeah, I've got one lot of people not doing much. Let's just see what these guys are wanting. Oh, okay, there's a crest here. Let's just see what the crest is. Okay, so they want 370 cloth. I'm going to set that because I actually do want to uh, make them happy. So if we go down here, let's see if there's any cloth down here. Let's make the Netherlands happy. Right, we can hire another captain. Faster. Uh, I'm not really interested in that. Uh, this is someone who we already got, but uh, is upgraded for. So I'm just going to upgrade that person, there we go. You're kidding me. <laughs> the Netherlands have just declared war on us. Really, you are kidding me, man. So I've just paused the game because uh, the Netherlands are at war with us. So once again, war is going down throughout the Caribbean. Everyone is at war. Okay. So who's at who's at throats? <laughs> so it's uh, the England for uh, first, the Netherlands. Um, okay. And the French first, the French. The French first, Spain first, the French. Okay. 
So, we... Oh, they want 324,000 for a letter of mock. You are kidding me. That is a disgusting price. Okay, so what we're going to do is any convoy which is trading up this route here up to the Netherlands, we need to tell them to cancel their trade route. So I've just told them to cancel. They need to cancel. Actually, what, what we can do is, is if we do this and then we can put them through a new trade route. So assign you there, activate you. Cool. Oops, this is gonna take a minute, guys. You're at sea. I know. It's a hard life. Okay, so uh, I just pressed the wrong button again. I'm sorry. That is fairly newbish of me. Fairly newbish. You blooming new. Okay. Okay, let's be on this one and activate you. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, I just clicked on the wrong button again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. You're definitely not fine, mate. You, it's good, sir. Need to change your trade route. Uh, we only got three along this one. Uh, let's assign you to this one. So half this is only temporarily. It's only while we're at war. I would love to get a uh, letter of uh, total uh, wipeout. <laughs> I'll go for the Netherlands. But um, it's going to cost me a lot of money. And I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to afford that. At all, sadly. I don't know why it's so expensive. You would have thought that um, your Viceroy here would be more than happy for you to go to war for a much better and lower price. So I've just unpaused the game. That's cool. Okay, so let's have a look around. Okay, these people down here want um, those... Uh, oh, so I can, I'm going to absolutely destroy my word in here I I have quite a bad dyslexia. so I've got the the voice version as well which um it's I it's it's sometimes hard to announce a word and uh, sometimes the wrong word comes out um, but yeah I'm not even gonna bother trying to say what that word is because I can't say the word Okay, so I wonder if I can trade with these people. <laughs> no, you can't trade with these people. But there's a Mirati frigate just right outside. Oh shit. But I knew that was going to happen. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I only lost 10 units. Oh, that's okay. I, I was assuming to lose a lot more. So if we uh, get our trade vessel to come just down here. Actually, I've got a better idea. Let's put you on a trade route. Assign route. There we go. And activate you. I'm going to have my Mirati fleet, this one, come over here. Because we, we can't afford to go to war at the moment, as in actually me being able to attack them. So it's uh, pointless my ship's actually being close by. Just I'm not going to really be able to inflict much damage of anything. Okay, so they have only got basically 20 units, which is fairly disappointing. Oh, I didn't set the mission in time. Okay. Oh, you can still go down there. I should still be able to make a profit. That's fine. That was bound to happen. 
What do these guys want? Okay, so we can go and chase some pirates off. That seems fun to me. I'm going to say yes to that. Okay, so we, we made some some money there. Okay, so our cannons is 92. So we might be able to take on some people. Uh, where was it? Was it up here? No, it's gone already. Really? I know, here we are. So we need to chase him off. So we've got a fleet coming over. Uh, let's take let's take this fleet as well. Oh, we've got two fleets. And I'm gonna accept that before it disappears on me. Okay. So I accepted the task. I've got my two convoys, mirror two convoys, going over there. Let's kick some ass. <laughs> Okay, so everyone seems reasonably happy. There's only a small plague going around. Oh, there was. Uh, you should construct more residential areas in this town. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, wow. My cash is 44,000. Really? I'm only gonna be able to buy one house. Okay, let's just pick one build in here. There we go guys. Make it so. At least that will add another 240 residents. Residents? Residents? <laughs> so yeah, I told you about my speech. It's awful. And so, pleasing these guys um, might allow us to uh, I don't know, they might allow us to give like a building permit maybe or something like that. Okay, this is uh, one of my combat vessels. So we can upgrade a couple guys. Let's just upgrade these people. Uh, I want him to be a, a smuggler. Close combat fighter, eh? I haven't got one of those. Didn't want that guy, that's fine. So we need to find where this big bad pirate is. Okay, so he's got 96 cannons, I've got 92 cannons. So he has a slightly upper hand. have to find where your ships where your ships hanging out oh we've got another combat ship over here uh, let's you've only got 46 so that's not cool um, if you go to war with anyone, you guys are just going to get absolutely slaughtered. I'm going to activate patrol on you. Okay, so I <laughs> task completed. I didn't do anything, guys. Oh, so these guys want cotton, so uh, let's make it settled.
Yeah, I know the task failed, but you guys decided to declare war on me, so I wasn't able to finish that. I am, however, hopefully going to be able to complete this task. I need 55 of uh, cotton. Cotton. There we go. Uh, we buy 68. Wow, I'm really cash strapped. Really crash. Let's just have a look. Let's see what the issue is. It's because it's my traders, they are taking all my money. The thing is, I had a really important trade route and um, it didn't go the way I wanted, so... Oh, okay. It didn't go the way I wanted, unfortunately, so... You know. We can do that task, that's quite an easy task. In fact, we can probably buy the clothes from here. God. Oh, it won't let me. <laughs> Mine is 45 grand. You are kidding me. Oh, wow. We've got serious money issues. So if we send you down here, I'm going to disband these people, they're, they're not that powerful and we can't go to war with anyone. So I'm going to bring them back, disband them, which will hopefully save me a little bit of cash. Okay, what's, uh, how many? 40. Right, okay, I should be able to do that now. Uh, they want bananas and uh, something else. So, 40 items of clothing. Job done. And what do these guys want? So they want, uh, yeah, fruit and corn. That's fine. Oh, should make them happy. You might just automatically trade that stuff anyway. Or not. <laughs> it's fine, we can we can do that with our trader here. Yeah. So we can make another trade fleet, but we're not gonna do that. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to get rid of any of my ships, where possible. I'm going to keep them in here just so they don't ch cost anything. Um, but yeah, I, I just need to displan some combat ships. Because as I said, I haven't got the money to actually go to war with anyone. So it's no need to have them. I think part of the problem as well is uh, Georgetown, I've got so many businesses but I'm not actually making much money. It cost me two grand for them, but four grand for meat. Oh, hold on, let's have a look at the warehouse. So this is the warehouse. 
Um, trade. This is if I want to trade with the warehouse to um, the town. So if I want to get rid of all my meat, which I'm going to, because I just need the money. That's two hundred thousand. Okay. Well, I've saturated that market now, um, but I just needed the extra cash. Well, okay, I forgot about that. It, when you get a warehouse, all your items which you manufacture, um, the default setting is uh, everything goes in your warehouse, which is fine. Um, but uh, just remember to actually sell it or get a ship down there to pick up the items, which is what I just did. <laughs> But I'm going to get that mirror to fe uh, vessels back because as I said it's pointless me having it. But I'm going to create a, a new trade convoy. Oh, just press the run button again. The lighthouse. So I'm going to bring these guys down to uh, Georgetown. I think I've been calling it Yorktown. Uh, let's go down to uh, Georgetown and uh, we will pick up stuff in our warehouse and sell it at a much better price. Right. Yeah, so it's this one here. I right, our vessels there. Okay. Let's just quickly trade these so make them happy. There we go. Task completed. Excellent. Twenty-five. See, I need another 57 uh, fame to get a fame point, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm getting there, just slowly. I'm still having cash issues. I think it's my town's just costing me so much. Oh yeah, we need uh, corn and fruit. Well, I can do part of the mission from here. As I combat, yeah, there we are. So at the moment we're paying three thousand four hundred and twenty a day. We're going to save that money. So I'm going to displan you. Yep. That will hopefully save some money. Like, right, let's have a look at our trade routes to make sure that they are actually profitable. So it says I've got one convoy still going to the old the people which we're at war with. Uh, but that's fine. That's not much of a problem. Okay. So. Where's our other convoy? I think it's these people. No. These ones? Yes. Cool. So I've got 2,000 fedge here. And they're having problems with uh, supply. Right, so I'm going to have to change those settings. I can sell uh, 700, uh, 746 at a uh, reasonable profit. So I'm going to do that. Same for the corn. In fact, I might be able to sell all the corn. Yeah, I thought so. So you just have to remember, guys, to actually do this. Just gives you a little bit of extra cash. We're still at war with the Netherlands. Uh, where's our mission? I thought it was here. Where's our combat ships? Right, here we are. Well, 
What goods have you got? You have one piece of fruit. Uh, so, nothing here I can use. If I see a trade convoy with uh, any of the resources which I need, like here, uh, I will trade with them. Okay, I just temporarily disabled that route. It's oh, back up here in it. So, sell all your fruit and sell all your corn. Thank you. And you can carry on. Alright, they don't need any more corn, I don't think. No. But I'm going to trade it anyway. There we go. So now I just need to put fruit. Yeah, uh, give them fruit. Okay, so fruit down here. Okay, let's trade here. So take as much as fetch you can. And usually we can sell it at a pretty good price down here. Let's just see. Yeah, should be able to sell it at a good price down here. That's cool. Still got a, a small money issue. I, I've, I've uh, grown too big too fast. Okay. Well, we know we can complete that. Uh, the other one, I'm probably not going to be able to complete that one. Unless you've got some fruit. Yeah, free. Wow, thanks, mate. So, let's just trade. Yeah. Uh, how many units do I need? Let's just have a quick look. I think it was only 50 something, yeah. See, this was quite good. Just uh, we did a quest for someone, and um, they were like, "Oh, here's a trader license for up here." I was like, "Well, you just saved me like two and a half, uh, well, two hundred and fifty grand." I was just like, "Wow, thanks, mate." So I'm actually going to change the settings down in my hometown to actually sell. In fact, I've actually yeah, I'm going to change the the settings so they they sell just uh i think that's more important at the moment right. we're actually just going to buy all of you i know it's at a massive price but i want to uh i want to get my fame points up so send him down there Let's try to uh, flog all these off. Okay, I can't. Uh, let's sell 80. It's going to be one of those now where I'm stuck with uh, like a crap ton of uh, goods. I think. Let's change the settings. So 
so we're not going to protect our trade when it comes to this, that's fine. The settings are basically okay where they are. Okay, they're almost there. So. Um, I have quite a lot of meat produced in here, so maybe, maybe I just need to trade that off. Oh, pressing the wrong damn button. I'm just like, why isn't it working? Yeah, because you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Derp. Okay. So we've got a lot of coffee there as well, to sell it all. And that's given us quite a nice boost. Hopefully these guys will be happy and give me some more fame points. Okay, so we can now actually afford to go to war with the Netherlands. But I would be taking most of my money. And we've just had issues with money. So uh, I'm going to probably hold off on that for a second. We have got a fame point now. Uh, so we should maybe go and unlock a tier... I I class these as like tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3. Um, there's no like official uh, thing on what tiers are. Uh, but I class like tier 1 like vegetables. You know just the easy items which just require um, um, workmen. Uh, I class like tier 2 items as needing a item and a workforce and class 3 I class like tools where you need like 2 items plus a workforce. That's what I class as a, uh, a tier level. So we're gonna actually unlock a brewery. I'm just gonna quickly come over here. I just want to see if this has been built. Yeah that's been built. Uh, but that one hasn't. The missing. Okay, yeah, I forgot to uh, sort that out. Um, the England nation. We've only got seven towns. And none of them produce uh, brick. None of them. So the English, on my game, constantly need bricks. So I'm just going to find somewhere which does bricks. I can't remember from the top of my head. Nope. Let's take our combat fleet down here to do some trading. Well, that's the point. I've got. I think I've got that vegetable delivery people <laughs> around. Yeah. In order to trade, you need a trade license. I thought I had a trade license. Apparently not. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, let's send you down here. Well, it's pointless selling veg to somewhere which manufactures veg. So let's send you to the next town. I can't believe you guys. I was literally trading with you and you like turn against me on. Fully disappointed. There's a crest here. They want 340 clothing, uh, cloth. It's no way I'm going to be able to afford, well, get that for you guys. I'm going to try that. 340. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I can't be bothered. So everyone, everything's going along quite nice. I just need to get bricks so I can 
finish building a small church. Oh, actually, I don't. Ha I'm not an administrator here, so the AI is building a church here. And they're also building a new residential area. That's cool. So these businesses all belong to me. I'm going to unlock being able to get a brewery. We know what the English are like when it comes to beer. Yeah, loads of people actually like that. Okay, so I'm gonna actually build you there. So I don't need much. Trading seems to be okay. We need uh, 340, I think it was. Yeah, 340. And you guys only have fairly little of resources. Thanks. <sighs> what have you got? You've got 117. I'll take that. guys still. What a pity. How many cloth do you have? <laughs> none. You're meant to be a producer and you have none. Achievement unlocked A ten. Nicely. Ah, two hundred. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to send this uh, convoy back there. Restricted. Okay. Uh, that's why they're having issues.
So our traders are making money now, so that's cool. Uh, let's just see how Georgetown's doing. So we're going to sell all our, our fetch and um, corn. And our average price for meat is 152. I can sell that for like 300. So I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to get rid of my coffee beans. Oops. Try not to press the wrong button. So I've got one ship, well, some combat ships in Port Royal. Oh no, that's just their name, Port Royal. Okay, let's just change you. Uh, don't kill me, please. Okay, yeah, I know I spelled that wrong. Hello, I've just unlocked an achievement. That's the first ship I actually named. It's a good day. Okay, you weren't actually doing anything, were you? No, cool. Okay, so we're gonna send you back here. What else have we got? Okay, everyone else is sorted, basically. Well, look at all the convoys I've got. I think when I'm able to, I need to buy like cloth stuff. doing too bad. In fact, I wonder if I, uh, I might add some more ships to these guys. Yeah, just they can take 250 now. So let's go down there and pick up some meat. Get that trade in. And you guys have got some as well. In fact, I can sell meat here for a really good price. So that's actually what I'm going to do. So I've half completed that task. Uh, let's see what they're going to say. Okay, so... We're not at war with anyone again. That's cool. I'm going to put patrol on. That means we can open our trade routes again. Figure it. Corvettes. Okay, so I'm going to order some more ships. I'll get three there. I'm gonna buy a couple here as well. That's all I'm gonna get.
the reason why I'm just going to buy a couple there is just uh, I'm going to change some of these people to go on a different trade route. Actually, they're all trading reasonably okay, so I'm going to leave that as that. And when I create those new trade ships, I'm going to put them on the new, the new um, trade route up here. Now let's just go to Port Royal. I always click on the actual town, not the shipyard. So I'm going to order some here as well. Please don't kill me. No promises. So are you guys actually doing anything? Yeah, active trade route. And you are making money. Yes. Cool. You're not making money because you need to trade. That's what I was going to get, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's take all the other bits and pieces you've got. Okay. Uh, let's go up to Port of Spain. Trade as much meat as we can with them and anything else they want, and then we'll go from there. I really have an issue with. Um, Oh, what do you call it? Bricks. I'm pretty sure. Well, bricks and wood. They're constantly in demand for all of the England territory. Oh, it was the Netherlands which I was trading most with when it comes to bricks. You see, these have wood. Not a great price. So you guys are not really making much of anything. So all tours minus. So I'm actually going to cancel you from that trade route, and I'm going to put you back on this one. There we go. At fate trade route. They're just not making enough money on the other trade route, so it's pointless them well being on there. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I did try to finish the, the mission, but uh, my people are way too far. I'm just going to sell a thing there. But these on the other end are not. So these guys up here had all my cloth. Just in like, way too far away. Oh, that, that's a pissy, guys. Really annoying, actually. probably be able to sell a lot of this down in the Spanish territories to be honest. Just not there. <laughs> How about you, Port Royal? Let's let's sell some stuff to you guys. Yeah, let's sell some stuff to you. Uh, while I'm there I can get some bricks as well and bring it back to my nation. 
Now the trade routes are back up and running and the Netherlands make loads of bricks uh, we can uh, hopefully start upgrading our businesses and start working on our own fully owned town again. It'd be really good to be able to make our own like nation. That'd be great. I don't know if the game actually has that feature but uh, obviously as we play along we, we might find out. So did he actually make that? Yeah, he did. But you're still complaining. Okay. Because you don't have a church. Okay. So we'll just get a simple chapel. Uh, is that as far as we can build? Oops. Yeah. I'm right at the edge of the map, so it's not really worth building there. But if I build one over here... Tavern. I think I've already got a tavern place. Yeah. Shipyards. Replace that. Yeah. Do that. Definitely. Be good to upgrade them. Marketplace. They don't have a marketplace. Let's put a marketplace here. Uh, put another residential place here and here and they have no drink so let's get some sort of tavern yep and another residential place there that seems fine to me uh, obviously I'm gonna need a lot of bricks and wood uh, 15 days before that's built so we're making our first uh, shipyard it's not going to be a large one though, it's just going to be a basic one, so I'm not really going to be able to build much there at all. Um, also, I'm not too sure if that was a great idea because uh, we don't actually manufacture wood at this place. You would have thought that because the map is like full of wood that you can probably chop down any wood. Just look how much wood they've got. Who would have thought so? Okay, so one of them is built. Okay, so let's just do a quick trade event again. ships for sale here, apart from one crappy one, which I don't want. Okay. Yeah, all rubber ships. I didn't actually look here to see what ships they've got for uh, sale. Uh, by. Oh, I haven't had one of these ones yet. I'm going to buy that. Okay. I don't want to use that straight away though. I want to build um, more of a trade fleet. So is everyone actually doing what they should be doing? At the moment it seems so. They're just about to get to Port Royal. Alright, let's sell you some meat. 
Oh, I sold a hundred of hundred meat there. That's that's okay. I probably can sell all that. Yeah, I'm just gonna do all that. That's cool. Right. So, are you guys trading? Yeah, you're a trade convoy. So actually, thinking about it, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. And then, actually, what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to activate you as a trade route with these guys. Yeah, activate. So this is basically the biggest convoy I've ever made, which has the biggest capacity, is what I should be saying. Oh. Oh. Sorry guys, I've only just woken up like an hour ago, so... I, I literally woke up and I came straight on here. I was just like, yes, I need to play some more Port Royal. So his hideout is unknown, but his strength is only 60. It'd be quite interesting to actually find out where this guy lives. Um, originally it was around, I think I had intel that it was around Port Royal area. So I wonder if we can try to find a pirate. So you're 93% as in health, so I'm actually just going to quickly repair you. Don't think I've got enough points to be able to add another combat ship here. I can give it a try. I don't think I'm going to Oh, I was wrong. I can. So, yeah. So I'm click, keep clicking on the wrong thing. So, repair, repair. Repair. There we go. Let's repair, I think. So I'm going to send these guys off as well. I want you to go to Port Royal as soon as you can. Thank you. And I just added another ship to here. Uh, I want you to head off down here because I think I've got a combat ship down here. I'm going to try to add more combat ships to you guys. I think I can only buy five. I'm not... I um, have five, sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm actually quite certain with it. Alright, let's just go and try and find this pirate, shall we? Oh, what's going on over here? Okay, so I'm going to send one of my ships down there. I have a lot of convoys going around. It'd be quite good to just tell me how many convoys I've got without me having to count it all. Unfortunately I need to start making what I would call tier 2 items uh, to make more money. actually got a brewery up and running now as well so that's cool that's the first time I've uh, had a brewery place so I'm quite proud of myself okay the bottle in the sea's gone well that was bound to happen I should I could have used one of my trade vessels but uh, I'll, I'll rather make money I can 
trade you some cloth. Yeah, you want cloth. There we go. Yeah, you can't complain too much. Alright, can I add any more? Oops. Okay. So I could add some ships. That's cool. Alright, let's get you some more crew. Let's hope none of them have a plague. Okay. So now, I want to look for the pirates. Whereabouts? We should be able to get some good loot if we actually find his hideout. Unfortunately, I don't think you get um, any type of hint where he's located. You've got like the treasure map, but that doesn't help either. Tactics. So completing um, crests, we were given some of these. Uh, we we got these by completing crests earlier, so we can probably repair our ships when we actually do go into combat and stuff like that. That that's really quite good. Pirates, unknown whereabouts. See, it moves up to here, so I wonder if he's actually up here along here somewhere Check this all out. See if I can find them. Quite good if we do find this pirate. It did say originally when he spawned that they was around near Port's, uh, Port Royal. Let's try and find out where this guy is. Come on. I actually want to find where this person is. So badly. It's a feature which I just want to try. You know, to actually attack some sort of settlement of some sort. And the pirates are... Why not? So if possible I'm going to come along here, let's just see if they're down here. Right, unfortunately not, right, let's go up here. You have to be quite close to the edge to try and find these places. Up. doing too bad for um, money. I'm actually quite proud of, proud of myself now. We actually gained back what we basically lost the first time. I'm 
Okay, yeah, so I can't find any of these pirates anywhere. See, it, it tells me around this area. I haven't checked this uh, place here. Uh, I might actually send one of my guys there now. Please don't kill me. Go up here. Let's have a look. I didn't check this island out. It might actually be there. Living space. Yeah, you guys should really sort that out. Let's just check this little island out as well. Why not? You never know. It could be absolutely anywhere. The thing is, I haven't even seen any of his ships at all. Even when I did that crest earlier, I managed to do that crest and I wasn't even there. It was just like, oh, <laughs> thanks. So I'm going to put this one on patrol. This one's going up there, that's fine. Alright, you were manufacturing ships, I'm sure of it. You were excellent. So, we've got two ships here. Let's just add them to a new trade route. Yep. Activate route. Thank you. So, I'll wait until these have been completed. And I'm going to have a tra um, trade convoy of three with them. Oh, you guys are still complaining. The town has reached its maximum side, please, um, because without a church in the centre of town, it cannot accommodate more than 4,000 citizens. I need a church. Chapel, church. Okay. So that upgrade than that. That's cool. And we can have a feast as well if we want to. It basically just makes people at their location more happy in the town. And uh, we don't need to worry about that. Just about overall there, uh, 83%. And so as far as I'm concerned, that's good enough. I'm just going to sell everything. Oh, wow. First time I've got to a million and that unlocked a new um, achievement. Yes, achievement. Okay, let's have a look at this god awful place. Hold on, what's this mission down here? Okay, so I can actually temporarily, let's just move you to here. I'm sorry, I know you're busy. But for a treasure map, piece of treasure map, that easy to gain. And I've got enough money for it, why not? Thank you. Alright, you can activate your trade route again, mate. Oh, it's not on here. That's fine. It's, uh, uh, I can't remember which one it is. There we go. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's just have a look around this island.
I'm actually going to look around all these islands. Okay, nothing's there. confines just past me. Those guys are just waiting to declare war on us again. They just do not like us. I don't know why. We British people are nice most of the time. Alright, there's no crests activated. I mean like the star ones. These, these star ones are just to uh, make people happy but I actually mean crest crests okay so we're at war with the Frenchies cool So actually, I'm going to send this convoy. Uh, let's just go here. I just want to see what type of uh, ships they have. If I can take them on, I might go for them. There's a nasty looking storm coming towards us. Yep. Where's our other combat ship? Convoy. <laughs> I had something in my um, mouth so I just quickly took it out <laughs> and then it, it, I seem to have like nibble twisted myself. <laughs> oh dear. Okay so we're going to declare war on these French people. They've de declared war on us, but we haven't got a letter to actually be able to take them on yet. So we we'll could just buy a, buy a letter now. Now that's going to take half my wealth. Okay. So I'm just going to come down and say hi. So I'm just going to annoy the crap out of them until my other convoy turns up. So this convoy, I'm going to have protect this convoy. Or can these be siege as well at the same time? Oh yes, yeah, so that I can have them both join together. Okay, that's cool. I I haven't besieged a uh, a town before. I'm pretty sure we can get some more combat ships up there. Oops, wrong button, guys. So let's get another convoy up and running. No command points, that's fine. I think we've got a spare captain. Sign. Yeah, just you're not doing anything. Okay. So let's move you up to Port Royal. I think I've got some ships there ready. Yeah, one Corvette. Have we got any ships here? No. So yeah, I've got one Corvette lying around. So I'm going to pick that one up too. Uh, is there any combat base ships we can get here? 
There is, but... Oh, no, buy. Sorry, wrong button. So we can buy a Corvette. I'm just going to buy it. So I would assume when this timer counts down to zero, we take over this place. I, I, I'm assuming that's what happens. I actually don't know if that's actually right or not. We we'll soon find out. So we can make another trade group of people if we want. So let's just do that quickly. So we've got four on that one, four on that one, four on that one, four on that one, five on that one. Uh, so let's assign to this group. Okay. Cool. So I'm actually going to set that treasure hunt. I say treasure hunt, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, guys. Uh, these people need crews. Cool, there we go. So, I'm going to complete this quest. So find John Moore in this area until 24 years, in the area of Cat Island. Cat Island? Okay. Where is Cat Island? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to quickly find where Cat Island is, guys. Cat Island. Okay. And I might actually take over this uh, town. I've got some more ships here as well which can join in. Um, but they, they're not that powerful. You know, they're probably going to... You know, if the French do t uh, turn up, they'll probably turn up with um, ship of the line uh, ships and completely and utterly destroy us, is what I'm assuming is going to happen. But yeah, from the looks of it, we are at the moment uh, taking over this town hopefully it's just taking a long time <laughs> I'm gonna send my ships up to Cat Island to finish that uh, quest you never know they might actually give me a trade license in return that'd be quite cool Okay, so we just need to find in the area of Cat Island. You see, I would really want these uh, military convoy to actually attack that town, but at the same time, I want to uh, complete this quest. But from the looks of it, the French are not... Oh, here we are. Okay. So we are now being attacked. So we have 294 strength. They have 240 strength. Okay. So I'm just going to automatic. So fishery has happened. The reason why I did automatic is because um, I've worked out that I am absolutely rubbish at uh, combat. Uh, but you've only got two ships left, mate. So that doesn't leave me in a really good position.
a shame you can't actually join these two forces together straight away just that that'd be great but we've just defeated our first French ship okay We're slowly taking over that town. Okay. All this effort just to find this old man. You know, if I can't find him here, then I'm just going to put my military fleet to attack that town. In fact, that's what I'm just going to do now, because uh, I can't find him. Okay. So, we were attacked a minute ago. Um, we managed to fight them off, but that leaves this fleet really, really weak. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, or fortunately, we have another two fleets ready. Do you class it as fleets? Um, I know they call them convoys, but fleets are the same thing, isn't it? I'm pretty sure anything more than one ship can be classed as a fleet as well. I'm almost certain of that. Okay, they're coming along quite nicely. They're almost going to take that over. So I'm just going to end that. I, I'm just going to sell all this. I've uh, not got any spare ships to actually sort any of that out. But that has put me back over a million gold. Alright, let's go back over here. Yeah, I would attack you, but I'm in the process of taking this over for the, for the British. That'd be so cool if you can actually land I, I haven't done this before guys so it'd be interesting to know if we can actually land on this town and actually attack them i'm just gonna speed it up a bit okay we are being attacked okay so the french in this case has uh 387 strength we have 212 um so yeah this this is not gonna go well so we can't do automatic, we're going to go to manual and I'm probably going to get absolutely destroyed here. So it's their turn first. They just literally just took over one of my ships straight away, two of my ships straight away. That's really disappointing, just these, uh, these ships have a lot of soldiers on crew people. So they are able to take over my ships faster. See this is why I don't like turn base. If it was real turn, I can stay away from the ships and then they wouldn't be able to board me. But if their ships have more soldiers than I do... You see, I'm not, I'm not going to win this at all. So, um, to be honest, I'm screwed. <laughs> absolutely screwed guys. I'm just going to put automatic because I already know that uh, PC fighting and uh, no, automatic yeah. I just I, I already knew I lost that completely. You're just not going to win against that guys. That's a real shame. I haven't taken that over at all. I'm going to surrender and uh, get my fleet back because I'm mostly not going to take that over anymore. You see, that's how disappointing turn-based combat is. If it was real turn, uh, my ships are actually faster, so I would have just kept my distance from their ships. The only way I'm going to really do any damage is to have ship of the lines, but to do that you need fame. Just yeah you have to have a fame point just to buy a ship.
Bro, well, that's really disappointing. I'm really, I'm generally annoyed about that. <laughs> I really am. In fact, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to complete this campaign and um, this uh, quest over here. So we need to find some guy in the the cat islands. So I'll send you up there. Uh, was this the other one? Yeah. And send you up here. That was really annoying. I almost took that city over as well. Literally, if they if they didn't turn up for another uh, four minutes or so in real term, um, I would have had that city under my control, without a doubt. But I, I think I lost a one of my ship off the lines as well, because so I only had one and I lost it. I'm, I'm almost certain that I haven't got another one. Yeah, frigate and a uh, corvette there, and a frigate and a corvette, yeah. So I did lose a, uh, a ship of the line. I've just got a fame point, so I am going to build a new ship of the line. Order. Ship of the line. See, fame point one. Uh, it's going to cost me 286,000. Order placed, excellent. See, that's incredibly annoying. I hope the developers uh, do change the combat. I love the game though. I, um, in my last series I said I had about 8 hours of game play on this game. Um, I've been playing since 6 o'clock so I've been playing for an hour and a half. So at the moment I'm trying to find some bloke he's in the area of the cat islands but I have no idea where he is I've already gone around the actual island actually I think I can press control and put waypoints in Ah, there we go. Found him. Okay, so this these people can go back down to Port Royal and repair their ship. All right, let's help this guy. I know <laughs> my phone's just uh, died on me. I had low battery. Uh, so if anyone puts anything in chat, I'm not able to see it. <laughs> so I'm really sorry if I'm ignoring any of you. Okay, so your convoy finds John Moore safe and sound on the coast, but his vessel is no longer seaworthy. Can you help me get my vessel afloat again? I will return to the port of Spain and leave the vessel to you, for the old tub has already caused me enough trouble. Yes, of course, my friend. So now we need to go to Port of Spain. Although you're going the wrong way for starters. So you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Still going the wrong way. Oh man, you are going to turn right. He might be looking for the uh, currents under the sea or whatever you call it. I, I, I don't use those at all. But uh, yeah, I, I think he's just going to go off the map if he keeps going this way. To be honest, the, the ship in question is not really worth my world anyway. So I'm not really bothered if I get it or not. But uh, I don't think I've actually gained anything yet. Just when you get their ship, they also give you a piece of uh, treasure map. And they didn't give me one. <sighs> C 
So I'm not too sure what this guy is doing. I'm assuming he's going to come all the way out into the middle of the sea and then come back down. Just Port of Spain's all the way down here on the bottom right. So I wonder if he's just trying to find like the current, so to speak. So let's just quickly repair these guys. Uh, where's our other ship? Here we are. In the middle of nowhere. Oh man, I'm not even going to bother with these guys. I've had enough already. They're just going up to the top right and I, I think that's a bug. Just by the time, even if he... Um, they found stronger currents to bring him back down. By the time he just moves here to there, you would have got there. All that hassling around. Okay, the ship of the line is 63% done already. I am surprised that it's built so fast. Uh, let's buy some military uh, corvette and let's get a galleon yeah it's the same okay let's yeah let's buy one of those and i can't get ship of the line or anything like that but yeah let's buy these Okay, so I've got four ships being built now. Combat ships. Oh, he is coming back down. So it was he was looking for the currents. So I'm just going to go back to the desktop quickly, just to see if anyone has said anything. No, no one's saying anything. Okay, cool. I, I can probably fast this up a bit. So yeah, he was going for the currents. Wonder what he was doing. So yeah, he had a Corvette, um, we're going to pick that up. I could really do with the ships. <laughs> I have a lot of trade vessels going back and forwards. I'm making quite a good amount of money. you made any more ships? No, you haven't. Uh, that might be because I'm not building any. Uh, military, convert, gallon. Uh, I see, I want to ship the line. Actually, which one's better? That one's got 270. Okay, yeah, this one's better, so I'm going to buy two more from this place. That's cool. Alright, let's go back to our hometown. Okay, so we need to get some more residential areas. I'm just literally going to trade everything away. Like so. So they can hold up to 140.
So they have a inn, marketplace, and health, but they don't have church. So we just need to get a small chapel. Not church, chapel. There we go. Yeah, let's build you here. And that will please these guys, which will allow, when that's been built, that they will upgrade their citizens from 140 to 280, I think. No, 240. Yeah, so actually 100 people can live in each one of these. But I'm actually going to buy some more residential areas as well, as they asked for. Man, they're going to be disappointed if they live there. Uh, I'm going to be able to there anyway. I don't care what they think. They've got their needs sorted anyway. I'm going to have to do that anyway. You know, as I upgrade the town, more land will become a, a fable. A fable? <laughs> but they're still trying to manufacture... Manufacture? And they're still trying to build this church. <laughs> Um, we need 85 wood and 15 um, luxury items so let's do that actually um, our ships are over here and there's a trade convoy but they're trading so I don't particularly want to bother them and they're making quite a bit of money as well where's our military convoy uh, here we are so they're being repaired at the moment. Uh, let's see how long they've got. Oh, it doesn't actually tell you. Oh yeah, two days. Okay. I'm just going to fasten this up a bit. One day left. Okay. Oh, what's over here? Uh, just some loot. We're going to pick that up. So we're going to get them some luxury items and they want wood as well. Once I've done that, it should, hopefully, the boundaries will increase because uh, it'd be like the level up of their town. I think it should be classed as a town. Okay, I do apologise guys. I can hear my baby crying our eyes out. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, sorry that I couldn't take over that town earlier. Um, we need more ships on the line and I think the developers really need to work on the combat really much. So. Uh, you only need the, the enemy have their turn first and um, anyone who has more soldiers than you will basically always win so that's really annoying but uh, hopefully they get that changed anyway thank you for watching and uh, see you soon bye